Hello, this is Trevor with Pelican Water Systems. Today, I want to take you through replacing the carbon media in your PC600 or PC1000 whole house water filter. Before we get started, I'd like to take you through the individual parts included in the replacement kit. Included are a bag of carbon media, a blue funnel, a hose bib assembly, a red cap, a head o-ring, silicone grease, and your instructions. The system we're working on today is a PSE 1800. The whole house water filter portion of that combo is model PC600. If you have a PSE2000, the whole house water filter part of that system is model PC1000. The instructions that we're going to go through today are going to be identical for either system. The first step is identifying which of the tanks is indeed the whole house water filter. As you can see, our tanks are labeled with models. Next, we need to put the whole house water filter into bypass. All we need to do is turn both red arrows into the off position. Next, we are ready to disconnect the tank from the bypass valve via the two quick connect nuts. Now be prepared that the tank is full of water. There will be a small amount of spillage. With the tank now disconnected, we're ready to move it outside to an area that's suitable for the carbon replacement. First, we need to remove the head from the tank by rotating counterclockwise. Once we disengage the threads, we just need to jiggle the head to remove it from the down tube, and we'll set it aside. Next, we need to remove this stainless jacket and set that aside. Next, I'll lean the tank over and allow the water to start draining. Next, I'll remove the down tube and set that aside. Now, I'm ready to invert the tank and dump out the expired media. For video purposes, I'm allowing the expired media to simply expel directly on the lawn. It can be easily cleaned up after the water drains off with a shovel and a shop vac. But if I was doing this for a client, I would take some thick mill garbage bags, poke a bunch of toothpick size holes in the bottom of the bag, and expel the media into the garbage bag. With the majority of the carbon dumped out, I'll now use the garden hose to flush out the remaining carbon. With the carbon removed, we're now ready to rebuild the tank. First, we need to reinsert the down tube. There is a centering dimple on the bottom of the tank. 
Next, we'll use our red cap and insert it into the down tube. This prevents media from entering the down tube. Next, we need our blue funnel. And now we're ready to pour in our new carbon media. With all of our carbon poured in, we can remove the blue funnel and discard it, as well as the red cap. Next, I like wiping off the top ring with a lint-free cloth, as well as the down tube, and this just removes any residual carbon dust that could be present. Next, we'll want to replace the stainless jacket. Now, we're ready to prep the head for reinstallation. Next, we need to remove the existing head o-ring and replace it with a new one. To remove, I'll just utilize a small flathead screwdriver and pry it out of its groove. Next, I'll grab the silicone grease and using a generous amount, we'll lubricate the entire surface of the new O-ring. Once fully lubricated, we can reinstall it to the o-ring groove. We can now reinstall the head to the tank. We'll just rotate clockwise and there is an o-ring that seals the connection so hand tighten is more than sufficient. The following soaking and flushing procedures are extremely important. Not following these instructions may cause carbon dust to enter the plumbing system clogging aerators throughout the home. With the tank now back together we're ready to soak the carbon media. The carbon media must be soaked for a minimum of 48 hours prior to being put back into service. The first step is to attach the hose bib assembly to the inlet side of the head. Next, we want to attach the garden hose to the hose bib assembly. We'll then turn the garden hose on and allow the tank to fill. Once water starts flowing out of the outlet side, we can turn the hose spigot off, remove the hose from the hose bib assembly, and simply allow the tank to soak for a minimum of 48 hours. After a minimum of 48 hours, we can reconnect the garden hose to the inlet side and proceed with our flush. We want to turn on the hose spigot no more than a quarter of a turn. This will allow water to simply trickle through the tank, expelling any potential carbon fines. We want to allow the water to flow through the tank for a minimum of 30 minutes.
After allowing the water to flow for 30 minutes, we can turn off the hose spigot, disconnect the hose bib assembly and hose from the inlet, and attach it to the outlet. Next, we want to slowly, fully open the hose spigot and allow the tank to back flush for three minutes. This will reset the carbon bed, pushing all of the carbon media back down to the bottom of the tank. After the back flush, we can disconnect the hose as well as the hose bib assembly and take the tank back inside and reconnect it to the plumbing system. With the tank now back inside, we can reconnect it to the bypass valve. With the tank aligned, I'll simply snap the bypass valve back into the head and reconnect the two quick connect nuts. Now, I can slowly put the tank back into service. Your system is now set back up and ready for use. For the first 72 hours, you must maintain low flow applications only. Examples of low flow applications are a toilet, a faucet, or a shower. You will not be able to use high flow applications like a dishwasher, washing machine, or bathtub. If you do need to use these high flow items during the first 72 hours, you could simply put your whole house water filter into bypass until you're finished. If you have any questions on replacing the carbon media in your whole house water filter, please feel free to give us a call at 877-842-1635.